What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we're gonna be ranking the scariest ghost sightings caught on TV. How haunted is this spot? They're in Nevada. Hey! There was a black shadow figure. Part of his lower legs were appeared to be actually underground. Oh, what? Just hold his How right did they arm catch up a little bit. But they appeared right when this picture was taken. Pete describes an encounter when he left a voice recorder out overnight. What was that message? <laughs> that same message was also written with pebbles above the grave. Wait, what the fuck? Die. The Nevada desert is just, what, haunted randomly? Okay, so we get a boogeyman. He doesn't have any legs. He's saying die. How scary is that? That's like an entire Sam Colby video. That's really good. I would say just because there could be something even worse. You say this one is maybe a B or an A? Yeah, I like, I would like B. Because the pebble's moving, it could be someone trying to fuck with them. Be it is. All right, Larry, we're inside Michael Jackson's bedroom. <laughs> Oh God! Our tour guide here, and you're looking at the doors, and you can see the uh, locks on the doors. Miko. Uh... Wait, is Michael Jackson's house supposedly be haunted? <laughs> uh, privacy was key in this room, obviously. Yeah, he left his privacy when, oh when the doors God. were open. Oh my his privacy. This is one of the. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? Was that a cameraman? Wait, I didn't even realize. Look. I thought it was a cameraman. Who's uh? The... This is. Whoa! It goes all the way across. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? That's crazy. It looked like you could see through it. I don't think they were trying to capture something paranormal. No, they were showing the lock. But the other one, because it was the boogeyman, like they were trying to show paranormal stuff. That seemed to me like pure accident. The only reason I'm gonna say a C was because the boogeyman also said die. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a possibility that was a cameraman. Okay. Yo, look at the guy running. Please. Holy shit! And then you see a pan and it's still running in the same. Oh! Oh my god! So the coolest part about this, the original clip is on TV as a live sporting event. Meaning this is not double edited or re-uploaded. That guy was moving at like cheetah speed. Yeah. I would say it's a B. That's better than just seeing a, a slow shadow. I don't know. I love that video. It's It blows my mind every time I see it. Let me just react to that. Huh? What the fuck? If you saw a god dang newspaper fly across the room, I feel like I'd freak out a little more than that. I say there's probably more likely that this is debunked somewhere, yeah. so I would give this a D for debunked. D for debunked. I agree with that. D it is. Television journalist reports from the scene of a car accident on the they M11 just outside right. London. Oh, right there. But wait. What is this mysterious blob moving across the screen? The conclusion after a detailed examination of the known facts, a form of anthropod. That's an insect to you and me. To me, like when I first see that, I think it's like far away. I didn't like realize or even like think that it would be like close to the camera. You would think if a bug landed on a lens of a camera, it would be way bigger. Maybe it could be that bug, but if it's not, it's really cool. I don't know, yeah, I think it's a C. Honestly, like, I had not heard the bug theory. Seven-year-old boy claims he's being haunted by a ghost. Damn. First incident. Original footage, oh god. Is he being possessed? What? Oh, he was on TV in a chair and he just got yanked back. That's terrifying. This time, the boy claims he sees the ghost standing near the wall and goes over to stand next to it. Oh! His legs were lifting when she grabbed him. Oh my god, you cannot <laughs> fake that. That's you, like a mess. Yeah, like you're number one. I don't even know if I've seen better footage in my life. It was on live television, and not once but twice they got him getting yanked. We said there might be levitation in this video. That's yes. what I'm talking about. That's S tier. We'll be really set up to play to nullify the strengths this season. Mega. I think teams are ready Mega. for them, and I think they're going to have to come up with a different way. What? Play. Is that just someone on the, the field though? Yeah. That could just be like someone walking around. So it's somebody on the field, but it looks like teleported back and did it again. I think what they could have done is just used a green screen behind those guys. Or and then they workers. looped it and so it looked like it, he teleported. D for debunked. D for debunked. Yeah, we go from S tier to debunk. I can, Kyle, I can see it there. Go for it, go for it. Oh. Okay, so this seems like a good show. What's up with all the UK footage is paranormal? No, we need to go back. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Come on, if you hit. Oh! If you hit. I think that's. 
What's that? Is that actually a human? Damn it. Yeah, I think that's a human. Oh, that's oh. before they went and went over oh, there. Oh, what the fuck? Keep in mind, this was a ghost TV show, in my opinion, I think. So it might have been like a camera guy Ooh. or like a different producer that's out there. It literally could have been somebody on set. Yeah, I guess we have to go see because there are some explanations for it. This looks like some sort of talk show. What's happening? Like a foreign talk show. Okay, but there's scary music, so this is definitely a re-upload. Oh, is it the thing in the back? Yeah, yeah, that guy's pointing. That thing just twisted. Something got hit, I think. That girl's just like, what are you saying? Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh my god, wait, what? So not only is it a shadow, but it's a shadow that can affect material objects. That's Ooh. either a really clumsy ass camera guy in the back, or that's the <laughs> crazy paranormal evidence right there. What's weird is there was that one guy and he was just like, holy shit, look over there. But then the lady next to him was just like, ha. Ah. Stop. That's kind of suspicious. Other than that reaction, that is a shadow figure that actually hit something. If it was real, it would be a B. If it was real, it would be a B. Okay. Oh, oh my god! There's no way that's a human. It's a and flash. that way, it even goes in front of it, too. That is the flash. Yeah, I think they caught a superhero. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a B. We got no A's. We just got an S tier, then a bunch of B, C, and D's. Metro Mom says her home security footage captured her son's ghost. Definitely tell that in the photo, there is a human figure. Photo, okay. On Facebook, Jennifer Hodge posted that she was watching TV with her daughter when an alert on her phone Kind of recent. Yeah, 2019. Hodge posted that the figure looks just like her son, Rob, who died in 2016. That's not something that a random suburban mom is just like, hey, news, I'm gonna make this up and just yeah. like share. To me, that's super believable. That's very believable, but by our tier list already, we would put this as a C. Believable, we're not saying we don't believe it, we're just saying it's not as cool as getting limited. We bought three, um, they were five pounds each, and we thought, We'll, we'll buy them because they look like they're worth more than five pounds each, you know. Oh, 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 the chair is moving. Oh, I did. Who's doing that? Stop it. Who's doing that? <laughs> mm. yeah. Actually, when you separated them. these dolls, you brought them home and immediately. And then they just ignore it? What the fuck? They believe their doll is possessed and it attacks the husband. The chair moves right next to them. We're just like, eh. Looks like it is haunted. Okay, maybe we're over dramatic, but like we would be out of that chair in an instant. Yeah, I would if that like happened. Screaming and pointing. Not very believable. I say hard. D for debunked. D for debunked. All right. As Carlos Molina sat at his desk, his glass of water huh? suddenly moved of its own volition. That's fast. He asked colleague Pablo Zapata if he had seen the same thing. Molina later claimed that it was not a prank and that he had experienced a chill right before the glass moved. Whoa! It could have been due to condensation on the glass. Hasn't that happened to us before? Yeah, so like a water will be on there and then it will slowly move because like she said, the condensation. Yeah. That's just like, just way too fast to be gravity. There might be a scientific answer to this, but if not, cup did move very far and fast. And he felt a chill, but he could have just been saying that. I would say this is a C. I don't want to quite debunk it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I say it's a C. Here we have a few gravestones. But, like, whoa, did you see, see it? No, what the fuck? It's on the left. Uh, here we oh, it's oh, it looked like it was floating at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. That's like a, a dress. Tall, tall dress that's floating. That's crazy, too, that it's in a graveyard. And it was live. Technically, according to our shit, like, the shadow figures are C and B. But the fact that it was in a graveyard and the flowy dress is there, I like it a lot more than the other ones. I mean, it's kind of the same as the Michael Jackson one. It just, you can see it a little bit but, better. But the Michael Jackson one had a possibility of being a cameraman. This one, there was no possible way that it was a shadow. It was a white mist. Yeah, I'd say this is at least a B. Actually. A B? So we're giving zero to A. Let us know what you guys believe versus what you think is completely fake. And tell us if you would change around our tier list yourself.